Can we finish the total transformation of this 1940s cabin? Good morning guys, welcome back up to our property. Today, we had to order a little bit more lumber and there was some lumber that was damaged and cracked and we have a little sack of lumber that we're taking back to the lumber company. They're meeting us in town and they're also bringing us all of the new stuff that we need. And we kind of have some bad news about the glue lamb that we ordered, but we'll tell you guys that about, about that a little bit later. Anyway, we are crunched for time right now. I think we're already gonna be late, so we are out of here. We don't even have time to get breakfast, so we're gonna get breakfast in town. Protein shake! Yeah. <laughs> Protein shake and bananas! <laughs> we're gonna get back some lumber, but we're also gonna pick up a septic tank to take up to the ranch to help Larry out. Yeah, so the truck wasn't supposed to be here for another hour or so, and there was some miscommunication in when it was gonna be here, so we were just gonna have it dropped off at the yard and pick it up later. We just loaded that septic tank up, and then he showed up, so we're, we're taking it back off. We're gonna load this up and then probably put the septic tank on top of it. Perfect timing, we're about to load it, get out of here, get this lumber and we got lots to build. Dropped off the trailer with all the lumber on it. Oh, we're going down this bumpy road and loaded up the tools and now we're headed back to the cabin right now in hopes to finish everything today, maybe. But it's already 2.40. We, to. we have lights, we yeah, should be good. It's gonna be a long night. We have a lot to do, kind of. It has to get done tonight. There's no way around it. We're gonna be there for a while. Anyways, we're gonna take you guys with us and hopefully we'll have a finished renovated cabin to show you by yes. the end of today. Uh, yeah, yeah. minus so. a few things. <laughs> yeah, we don't have beds yet or anything like that, but so, like somewhat done. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Let's go. Getting pumped, rolled up to Russell, Dicker Russell Dickerson's Big Wheels song. We are ready to go. We're going to rock this cabin and get it going now. Trying to make the lights work? Yeah. We're at the cabin. In the bathroom, the floors are probably a half inch taller than the floors in the bedroom. The doors, now that we put the flooring in, are gonna hit. So I have the doors laying here. I'm gonna cut by probably a half inch or maybe even yeah, probably half inch should be good off of them so that they'll fit and they won't rub on the floor. I have to do both of them. I just got my skill, skill saw and I'm just gonna cut it and then I'm gonna hang these doors. We got these like carpet trim pieces that obviously isn't meant for this threshold. There's like a little gap right here from the wood flooring and I think it looks terrible and it, instead of just trying to find a little sliver of a piece that would just end up falling off and not staying on, we just put in this trim. I wish I had black, but we don't have black. We have this like bronze nickel color. It looks way better. And this is not my usual hammer. I forgot my hammer because I was framing our apartment yesterday. And uh, this is the one that I found in the backseat of the farm truck. And this is all we got. Of the what truck? The farm truck, the ranch truck. <laughs> Everyone's like, I don't have my hammer, I don't have my hammer. And then I opened up the farm truck and it was like under the seat and it's all rusted, but hey. Yeah, it's like Bubba's hammer. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> light fixture to go in. Dun, da, da, da. Going over the island. Yep, here we go. Last one. 
I didn't want to put it in because I didn't want it to get dusty and dirty and someone have to try to clean that. You know when you have to like try and get in those little bitty crevices? Nobody wants to do that. So, saved it for last. We got two days. Can we do it? What are the choices? <laughs> what are you even doing? A shower pan or something like that? Well, I'm doing your shower floor. This is your pan. Nice. Now I'm doing your shower floor so I can tile it tomorrow. And then I'll tile your niche. I burned out like a wandering ember. I shone bright in my journey. So Father's Day is around the corner. Check out these cool gifts. Bespoke Post is the sponsor of today's video, and I'm excited to share with you guys Nick's reaction when he opens these up. Daddy! Yeah. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, open Daddy. Thank you, buddy. Bespoke Post is free to join. Every month, they introduce their members to cool new products. Outdoor gear, barware, home and kitchen goods, clothing. Based on a preference quiz, members fill out when they're signing up. The box lineup changes every month. Before it's shipped, you'll get a preview of what comes inside to decide if you'd one, keep it, two, swap it for a different box or offer, three, skip the month entirely for absolutely no charge. It's a hatchet. 90% of the out. products that come in bespoke Whoa. post boxes <laughs> come from small brands, many of which are based right here in the U.S. You just like scrape the side of wood and it makes little shavings to help start a fire. This is a, oh, it's a camp chair. And it's my favorite color green. It says your bullseye box is here. Whoa, I'm pretty sure this is a throwing knife and a little sheath thing to hold them all. This is cool. Oh, what better with throwing knives than a Target? Well, I was completely surprised from the kids getting me this box of awesome. They got me the bullseye box, which has three throwing knives and a Target to throw them at. Green chair, the Wren, it's like a tent. It folds up super easy and goes in this little tiny bag. And then this hatchet, which is called the swing kit. Each box of awesome has about $70 of value, but you only pay a fraction of the price. To get 20% off your first box of awesome, click on the link in the description, enter code LEOG20, or go to bespokepost.com slash LEOG20. We wanted to thank Bespoke Post for sponsoring today's video. Now we got lots of work to do. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to our property up here in Southern Utah. Today is the last day for the cabin. We're done with the cabin. The last couple days, we've been like sun up, sun down, we've been there. Flooring's done, all the trim's done. The plumbing is all hooked up except for the two faucets, uh, the kitchen and the bathroom sink. That needs to be plumbed in still. The countertops are being polished today and then installed. And then we can put the, the sinks in. And as far as the renovation part, completely done. We are going to be building a few, like we got a bunk bed, a, a futon couch thing, a desk, decoration stuff that we're gonna do today. By the end of the day, we should be done with our part of the cabin, completely done. It feels good, I'll tell you what. Anyway, some of you have been asking in the comments because we have a lot of new subscribers what this cabin is and why we're doing a cabin and we're building this apartment and all this stuff. So the cabin is just part of our ranch and they asked us to renovate it. And that's what we did the entire winter and it's finally coming to a close. It's not our cabin. We were not, we're not gonna live in the cabin. We're gonna live in this. And when it gets to that point, we're gonna load up right now, head down to the cabin and just one last day of work down there so that we don't have to go down there anymore so we can just concentrate on our build. We're out the door right now. We'll see you guys when we get there. Got to the cabin. We cleaned out all of our tools. We're still waiting on these to get polished, but I mean, it look, it's looking pretty good in here. Just got some cleaning to do, some stuff to build, and then we'll be done. Oh, we gotta, we gotta hang this door too. Anyways, we got a, a short list of things to finish today, and then that'll be it for this bad boy. What do you think? I think I'm ready to close this chapter up. 
Me too. <laughs> um, anyway, but we got lots of work to do, so let's get to work. All right, guys, we, we've been working so hard. We haven't even picked up the camera or even thought about it. We had like 15 guys in here a minute ago. We lift up that um, center island countertop. It probably weighed almost 800 pounds. Kurt is outside right now polishing it. I don't know if you can see him out there. And then we gotta get it back in here. See like the countertop's all gone. I got the door handles on, I built a desk. I gotta build a futon, I gotta build bunk beds. And I feel like nothing is going my way. Like everything is broken or doesn't wanna fit. And uh, it's one of those days. I think next we're gonna build a futon uh, and then a bunk bed. And I'm just gonna continue cleaning. Yeah, so. I seriously? I, I stink. <laughs> I have stinky armpits. It's hot, dude. It's like a hot day today. I'm just gonna put it out there, be honest. We are hot, we are sweaty, we are, I am cleaning as much as I can. Like, literally, this cabin has to be cleaned from top to bottom. Like, there's so much dust and, like, grime in here. We should've put a ceiling fan in here. We should have. I'll open that door. Now that I got that door kind of cleaned up, I can open that back up. I got that area mopped, so hopefully no more dust comes in, but if I open that door, then it will, but whatever, we'll just go back through. It's just Anyway, clean, we clean, got clean. We have lots of work to do. Mm -hmm. we, I came here with the, an idea that, oh, we don't have that much. Or we no. have this and this and this to do, but then it's, it's never little, little tasks are becoming bigger tasks than they need to be. 10 minute job's taking 35 minutes and just, yeah. it's all adding up. So yeah. anyway, so. we got tons of stuff to do. We're gonna get back at it and- Get this thing done. Cause tomorrow it gets rented out. Oh my gosh, tomorrow guys, tomorrow. And I'm just like, oh. Fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah, good luck to whoever rents it. I gotta take a plunge, literally. I'm gonna have to go in there and get a screw. There's a screw sitting in the bottom of the toilet. I gotta go get it, gross. I've already put cleaning supplies in there, but. Ooh. Ew. Brian's in here too. What does he think? Right or left? I, it's on the right and it's worked right here in my place. So the shit, the shit paper, yeah. the toilet paper. Yeah. Put it in the comment section. Right or left? Something like that. It's kind of like a little paper thing. I can just. You got a little jig. Yeah. Like right you, there. you can't have it drop down from the ceiling or something. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, All right, put her up. So, hubby, you want to talk about us bringing in the cavalry for round two of the countertops? Yeah, so last time it took like eight dudes and a backhoe and, and, a, some, woman. and a couple females for support and the cheerleaders. <laughs> <laughs> and so we just called everybody on the radio. I think everyone's coming back out here because that uh, countertop is polished and pretty much ready to go. We got the sink set because it's an undermount sink. And uh, hopefully this should be here in the next 15, 20 minutes and we can load that 800 pound concrete yeah. countertop back in here and then that. Then we're just left with the little ones, which is yeah. a lot easier to manage for sure. There's a lot of people that aren't really interested in being on camera, so we're not gonna film that, but 
Yeah. You guys will see it after we get done. It's starting to get dark. Just wanted to give you guys a little peek of what's going on. Nick's in the bathroom right now. We've got the concrete countertop in. And? And it's the final hour. <laughs> It's the final countdown. Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. You have way too much energy right now. I took a five hour. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get my energy uh, drink in. <laughs> so we're second in our, in our final, our final hour of everything. How are we doing? Dragon. It's a little bit more to do, but a lot more to do, so. Every time I clean something up, they come through. <laughs> they make another mess. Or they drill another hole or whatever. Yep. Yep. I already cleaned the bathroom. You wouldn't know, but I did it. <laughs> and now he's in here. So, I just want to show you guys also the kitchen countertops. They look really good. Let me show it to you. Did a mighty fine job on these concrete countertops. In the nick of time, right? Like, Nick, nick like tomorrow someone is coming in here, but they look so beautiful. All right, guys. Well, it's almost. It's like nine. The sun is down. We don't have any lights. All of our batteries are dead. And we still need a few things for plumbing. So as much as I hate to say it, we're gonna be back in the morning for a few hours. We'll, we'll see you guys in the morning. Super early morning start. Good morning guys. So last night we didn't get home till 9, 30, 10 o'clock. It was dark and we weren't able to finish the cabin all, all the way. We were missing a few things for plumbing and it was just, it was dark and we just ran all of our batteries were out. So we just were like, looks like we gotta come back in the morning. That's what I'm doing right now. It's early, the sun just came up. The family's still in bed. I think my wife's up, but the kids are still in bed. So I'm gonna head down there, do as much as I can, get this thing done because there's people coming today to rent it. So <laughs> nothing like waiting or just getting it done at the last minute, you know? I'm headed down there right now and uh, let's knock this out. All right, just got back to the cabin. As you can see, we got a mess, a mess. We're gonna, no one's here yet, just me and Kurt. Time to hustle and get this thing knocked out and get all this stuff out of here. We got like T minus like six hours, seven hours. Everyone's working their butt off. We almost got this whole pile taken out and uh, that dump trailer's almost full. It's pretty dang full. We got a few more things to put in there. It's tiny, more and more stuff to throw away. And to do. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna keep working at it. Try to get this knocked out. Right, guys well the cabin is done i just finished plumbing the drains in both sinks the one for the kitchen and one for the bathroom turned the water heater on it was clicking and starting and everything like that there's no leaks anywhere it's the cabin's done you guys i'm so excited <laughs> I'm done and it's 2.13 in the afternoon. There's supposed to be someone checking in in 45 minutes. Oh, there's a peacock crossing the road right in front of me right now. You see it, Bubba? 
Yeah, it's a cute, yeah, cute one. A male with a big old tail. Anyway, cabin's done. That chapter is closed. And now we're out of here. I don't even know what to say. I'm just excited and um, I'm glad that it's over, but I'm glad we did it because it was good experience. We learned a lot, kept us busy in the winter time. Thank you guys so much for following uh, the cabin adventure in the winter. And now that it ends, now stay, stay tuned. We're building our apartment. We got a long way to go. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. And we'll see you guys in a couple days.